gets the nerf here. He goes first this time. We are grave locked once again because we won last match. And he let's see what his counter deck is. Um, we're probably gonna draw a new starting hand here. It's pretty bad. Spark is good on turn two, but he's going for decay, so I guess he wants those damage curses to get rid of my things. And I do like that turn four burn, but he went first to I'm gonna draw a new starting hand. Okay, this is probably a little better, not great. I'm gonna sack the early corrode. I'm gonna play Travel Memorial. Okay, so the next turn I could play the I could sacrifice Travel Memorial and the next turn a Grave Lock Outcast. Alright, he doesn't have a turn two drop, which is good. You know what? I'm gonna sacrifice the um potion of resistance. Because damage curses just kill potion resistances too. So now I would like to see him play like a rod eater, and he doesn't. Interesting. I'm surprised he didn't mulligan if his hand is not that great. Why didn't I blow that up last turn? What am I doing? I forgot. That's a misplay. That is a misplay. Now I'm, I'm now I'm gonna like not have a chance to blow it up because I'm gonna be playing with every turn, and it's gonna end up that I'm not gonna lose the game because I didn't have one grave. Uh, Grave, whatever that thing's called, the, the human that, that gets extra attack and growth. Yeah. Uh, Thunder Surge, I want to keep. Fury, I don't know. Burn, you don't die to a burn. Maybe he purposely didn't like play a rider because he knew I was going to like burn it. I don't know. Uh, should we go down and like try to kill him with like. I wish I wish we had a. You know, let's sacrifice the fur Fury for cards. And we don't get what we need. We could move down and hope and use a mash to try to kill that thing. You know, let's do that. Because yeah. Because um he doesn't I mean he I guess this is the anything goes on these decks, so he might have like plus in case or something. But it, I doubt he does, and if he does move up and like challenges me and puts more creatures, I could just hide behind my structure here. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, let's see. I don't have a good hand. I have nothing I could play. I do have a burn. That's something I could do. A seeker. I don't want to burn a seeker, though. That's not what I want to do. A grave hawk. I think it was good I didn't blow this up. I have some protection now because I'm going to move up. And do I sacrifice for scrolls again? I could burn you, but that's I feel like that's stupid. Stupid to kill you also. I'm going to sacrifice the Thunder Surge for cards and hope likely I can get something I can play. And I see an Elder. But he probably is stashing those damning curses. He's probably holding on to those damning curses. <sighs> so uh, hopefully it doesn't have a soul steal on this thing. I can go. I can't go fury mash in at the same time. I don't have enough resources. That's what happens. We don't have enough resources, and I need something to play. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to burn this because it's going to attack, and I don't want it to attack. Potion of resistance. Fury. I'm gonna sacrifice the fury because these guys are attacking next turn. If we lose this early skirmish on round six, like if he. I think this is gonna decide this match. If he's able to kill these gray blocks, or am I gonna be able to like kill his bit stuff? And he probably is going to be able to win. Let's sacrifice the fury here for energy. And uh, we can go with a potion of resistance on you. Or we could burn you. And I'm gonna burn you. He gets cards, but I get a card too. And hopefully he doesn't have a soul steal. We just hope he doesn't have a soul steal. And I'd like to, I'd like to draw a desperation as well. A languid on him and the soul steal. I'm gonna be very sad. He's going for the soul steal, and he got it. And I'm kind of dead. I think I'm gonna lose this match. There's not much I could do. Plus, resistance doesn't even protect against this hunter. Uh, I guess I'm going to. Blow this thing up. I don't have time to blow it up, actually. We can. What can we burn? What can we do? He has card revenge. Yeah, uh, we would still be in this game if he didn't soul sleep. Because I had a machinated, and that guy's relentless, so he could plow through things. 
So now what? I wanna, I think, I think we're just gonna have to sacrifice the potion of resistance. Or the machinated. Sacrifice the machinated. We only, I mean, we do have this frontless guy we're probably gonna play soon. Maybe not because this thing is probably gonna break. And there's no point in dealing damage because you're gonna be healed up by destroying something. So let's just move down. Get some idle damage for no reason. Maybe we'll sneak a corrode one in this game. Okay, another life stealer. We don't have enough bounce dispersals to destroy all those dudes. Uh I have eagle. Why do I have I have eagles in this deck anyways? I don't even know. Well actually I do know because it's I kinda need them. Um Let's go ahead and go with a spark burn. Sack for energy and go with a spark burn on one of these dudes. And the next turn I can go with a bounce dispersal. Slowly take him out. Yeah, I think I gotta slowly take him out. I got a fury. Okay, at least this thing can't get up and attack me. But he has eight cards. One of those is definitely a diamond curse. So we gotta start thinking what we're gonna use to counter his decay deck here. This is, I think, this is his uh, mono decay deck. I've only seen things that would go in mono decay so far. This isn't any poison gimmicks. He was saving his big, his big guns, his. Monitor decay deck for the last, the third series, but I'm happy I was able to get a win in the third series with a grave lock deck. So it looks like he's gonna tie this up, but let's not just give the game away just yet. We're still in this, and I don't have to um, found dispersal really. I'm going to sack for growth. Play the Ivy. Let's see if I can get like a. Okay, I'll just play the bounce dispersal then. That's how it's gonna be. Okay, we got rid of some of his things, and now we're gonna we can sack for a while and get a grave hawk and a grave hawk raider out. Hmm, which would be a couple of relentless dudes. And he gets oblivion seeker, and he's not. It doesn't look like he's moving up to me. Maybe he's gonna like just necro get and like win soon. That could be it. We don't need this trouble more another more now that we sack for uh, growth, and we're just going to play both of you. Um, I want. I don't know who I want in front. I guess I want to protect the grave that guy more because you're gonna have. Actually, I don't know. If I get another grave like elder, you're gonna have more health. But you have more attack. You're like a skirmisher right now. You are like a skirmisher. And damage curse at least would. Uh, if he damage curses my elder, which I believe he will do. Um. Yeah. At least his my curse does my damage dying. Okay. There is a blight bear and he's moving up. We are kind of dead. Unless we can draw like all our desperations in machinated, it's so we're gonna keep. Even though grave lock, a grave hawk, it would be really nice. I'm gonna keep our desperation, and we're gonna use the Ivy Eagle because we can. A grave lock elder or the bounce person. What do we want to do? We are going to use the uh, grave lock elder. We can always do both of these next turn because we have enough resources to do that. And we're not going to move down because then we're going to die to this hunter. And hopefully he doesn't have a brain lice to be able to kill this raider. Or a damage curse to be able to kill my... Uh, he doesn't have a brain lice or a damage curse this turn. Which he probably does. And he's sacked for resources. I mean, he's not fishing for it. Okay, so he does the damage curse. I'm dead. I am dead. I am dead. I am dead. Yeah. I'm really dead. Uh... We'll make we'll make him win it the hard way though. Uh, Solemn giant, meh, 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 meh. Double des I had the double desperation. I had the double desperation. Uh, pu -pu 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 I'm using a card to kill this dude here. I'll just I'll do whatever. I don't care. I don't even know what I'm doing. Actually, it's kind of stupid. I um, I don't think I need to use that desperation. 
You would have had two attack, and then that Blight Bearer would have died when it attacked, and whatever. We kind of lost this game. We lost it already. <laughs> Nothing we do now will save ourselves. We already lost uh, two or one, I'm sure. Yeah, two uh, Elders. And we're not going to get him back until the Decker's Hugs and then he's going to win. And there's no chance I win without Elders. So it was probably a fluke that I won last game with the Grievelock deck. It's really not that good in this meta. It really hasn't been... Grievelock decks haven't been good since Scrolls, like, when it's open beta. Um, Desperation. I already lost, like, all my Relentless dudes. And whatever, I'll, I'll disperse with you. Alright, can you just Necker and win soon, Blicky? Put me out of my misery. Tie this thing up. This is really close. Not, I'm not saying that, no, this game isn't close. He's destroying me this game. I'm dead. But uh, this, like, Deck Wars thing is really close. He won the, f it's a, if you don't remember, it's a uh, three three best of five series. And uh, whoever wins two of three of the, two of three or three of three of the best of five series wins the whole Deck Wars. Um, and Blinky won the first, uh, best of five series in four games I won the second best of five series in four games this is the third best of five series and I win the first game and he's gonna win the second game so it's gonna come down to the last three games after this um, <laughs> I mean sack the Gravehawk because just for fun let's just go like this <laughs> Three cards to kill him. <laughs> that was just for fun. I, I, I know I lost this game. Okay. So, if you need to go Harvester, this is the perfect combo, guys. Desperation, Iron Whip, and Spark. Watch you're getting. It's GG. GGWP. And now, there are three games left in, um... There's a maximum of three games left in this Deck Wars. And it all comes down to this. We both have the same amount of wins up to this point in this whole series. This whole deck wars. And now, I'm going to have to counter this Decay deck. With, my choices are, Late Game Order and Mono Growth. I think the obvious choice there is Late Game Order. <laughs> uh, yeah, Order can beat anything, can lose anything. So I'll have to do well with Late Game Order. And then I'll have Mono Growth as my last deck if I lose with Late Game Order. So, um, we are all tied up, and well, we're tied up at one in the third series, and we, we split the first two series, so it all comes down to this, and I hope you all subscribe, like the video, and keep playing scrolls. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.